a very, very good morning to John Arno Rise. Good morning. Good, good morning, John. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? We're doing very, very well, John. Just for, for, for to put this to bed, <laughs> there's, there's no way Stephen Jenner is going to Aston Villa, is there? <laughs> to be honest, uh, I heard the rumours as well and... Um, you know, if it's if he's going to move away from from Glasgow, I think Villa is going to be a great step for, yeah. forward for him. Is that the natural be, step up? Do you think before he potentially makes his way to Liverpool again? Yeah, I think. I mean, going from Glasgow to to Liverpool is going to it's going to be a too big a step. I think he, he wants at least one or two more moves before uh, going to eventually Liverpool. But and I think Villa is a great club. It's a big club and a perfect step for him if he decides to move. Mm. Okay, uh, John, we just mentioned the different goals that you scored, especially that one against Manchester United. How many times do you think you've watched it back? <laughs> <laughs> well, I I don't go on YouTube to watch it myself, but people send me all the time, you know, on the day, the same date, uh, anniversaries, and when we play against Man U, they send me on, on my Instagram and stuff, but uh, obviously I watched it a few times. Laura? Honestly, when he used to t- take free kicks and I used to have to be in that wall, <laughs> I was frightened <laughs> on a cold, cold afternoon no. at Villa Park or Anfield and he's lining up to take a free kick. I'm just there, Ali, eyes closed, hoping for the best <laughs> mate in the wall. Gabby, please I, don't hit me, please. I want to know the manager <laughs> or the coach who thought it was a good decision to put you in the wall, mate. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I want to know. John, John, I want to ask you if I may. Um, Liverpool, it's it's a fantastic title race we've got going this year. It's been mm-hmm. absolutely brilliant. It'll, it'll continue to be, I think. They were they were outstanding at Old Trafford. Lost at the weekend, obviously, in a brilliant game against West Ham. What have your thoughts been of, of, of in Liverpool so far this season? I, I mean, I was a little bit worried in the beginning because I didn't think we replaced like Ronaldo and stuff, uh, who I think was extremely important for Liverpool. Uh, but then, in the beginning, I thought they played exceptionally well. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about the depth in the squad. Uh, I don't think they have the top, top, top class players when we lose. Uh, like last season, when we lost Van Dijk and a few other players, we, we could see we struggled. Yeah. And I'm a, I'm scared of it could be the same this year, that when people get injured, suspension, African Nations Cup, when we lose mm. some players. Yeah. I, I'm a little bit worried that that's going to be where the title race is going to be uh, decided, and I don't, and I don't think we. I have a feeling we are not strong enough depth-wise to to compete in the long run with Man City mm. or Chelsea. Mm. Looking at Manchester United, and um, because you played with Solskjaer from the national side, what yeah. do you think of that situation now? Because one by <laughs> one, I think his fans are starting to sort of think that perhaps he is out of his depth now. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it's 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 a strange one because you know he's a friend. Uh, and I like him a lot as a person, but then he's a manager of Manu, and I, you know, I don't <laughs> necessarily like Manu that much. <laughs> but uh, I, I do feel for him as a person, as a, as a coach, because he, he's still one of the biggest jobs in the world. And when things are not going well, like they, they don't, they do now, it's so easy to blame the manager. But at the same time, um, I watched the last three or four games of Manu, and the attitude from the players, man. I, I, you can't always blame the manager for everything. I mean, look at the uh, aggress- aggressive, uh, the tightness, the, the, the willing to, to fight for a club. It's not there from the players. And I, that annoys me because, like myself, I was not the most technical player, but at least I gave 110% no matter what, uh, in what, how I was playing. And look at the Man U place now. They don't seem to care. Uh, I mean, they, they just jog around it and, and don't show the fans nothing. And and it's easy to blame the manager, and I feel sorry for Solskjaer at the moment. Mm. Why, why, why do you think it is that they they almost down tools and that they're not doing what they can do anymore? <sighs> to be honest, though, I mean, it's, it's, it's a big ask because you know, maybe the, the, the players are, are not happy with how the training is going, how they play tactically in training, mm. uh, what Solskjaer is doing before the games. But at the end of the day, they get paid a lot of money to do the job. And to support the manager and and play for the fans. So, I am. I mean, if, if that happened to to when I was playing, I, mean, I know Stevie, Jamie Carragher, who would just smash us. Yeah, I want to ask you, John, if I may. Um, I, I thought one of the best games I've seen in a long time was obviously the West Ham game against Liverpool mm. at the weekend. Um, you said you're, you're, you're a little bit concerned, obviously, and understandably, about the African Nations League, Liverpool losing two or three, play, two or three players. 
Do you think the league, in terms of the top league, is the quality is as high as it's been perhaps ever? We, we the, you, you've mentioned Manchester City, obviously Chelsea are up there, West Ham have, have been excellent. How highly do you rate the the standard at this moment in time? Oh, it's, for me, it's the best ever. I mean, it's the closest race ever because you know you go into a game and and normally in the years that's been now, you knew that City's going to win a game and 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 go away with it or Liverpool. Uh, now. You go into a game, and I knew that West Ham game for Liverpool was going to be so hard. And you can see how how well the West Ham played, uh, and and they up there as well. So and now Arsenal is starting to get there as well. Uh, so I think the the level of five, six, seven is going to be so high now that you don't know who's going to win uh, the games they play. So I enjoy it, um, and I think football fans enjoy it. But obviously, I would like Liverpool to get away with it. But I think it's going to be a tough one. Who is it that you're enjoying watching the most in the league at the moment? Individual players. Oh, obviously Salah. Uh, you know, I think he. Yeah. I think you know he has a few good seasons, a very good seasons, and then last season he wasn't even maybe the best playing wise, but this season he looks sharp again. Uh, so obviously I, I enjoy watching him. Uh, but De Bruyne, uh, obviously it's someone I, I enjoy watching. But in general, I like watching. Guardiola's teams play football. I mean, against Man U, uh, I mean, the way of movements and the passing, and it, it just, it's a joy to watch. If you could be managed by one member, one manager in the Premier League at the moment, who would it be? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, I'm killing. <laughs> just one. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, I would have loved, with my playing style, I would have loved to play for Klopp because he wants his full best flying forward uh, and also Guardiola, but I think Klopp, uh, those two are the best match in the world and I would love to play on both of them. But I think with my playing style, I would have loved to play as a full for for Liverpool mm. and Klopp. Yeah, I think that's fair enough, isn't it? it is. I, I tell you what I want to ask you, I want to lead you on to probably the hottest property in the planet for me at this moment in time, Erlen Haaland. John, I, I mean, mm. I, I, I am so impressed every time I see him. He's one of these players. You talk about players you enjoy seeing. He is so exciting, clearly valued so much in, in, in your own country. Where do you see him? Where do you see his next move? I mean, because to me, he's one of these players he could play in any league in any you know in any country in the world. I would love to see him over here. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, his his uh, attitude, uh, his. He sees like he doesn't even he does he looks like he, he just enjoys watching playing football. Yeah. You know he, he's working so hard. Uh, but coming to, I can only see in this in, in the Premier League maybe City or Chelsea has can afford him when it comes to transfer and salary. Yeah. But then again, is salary that important for him? You know he's going to earn a lot enough money anyway. So maybe. Yeah. So the only chance I can see him at Liverpool is is if the salary does is goes down but uh, when it comes to his agent and reading the numbers I read now I can only see City or, or Chelsea in the Premier League can afford it You were just talking about Mohamed Salah there as one of your favourite players to watch um, this season probably the last few seasons as well um, how important do you think it is and how hopeful are you that Liverpool can manage to, to tie him down to a long term deal because he did say didn't he he said he wanted to finish his career at Liverpool but he still didn't necessarily suggest that if someone else came in that he would say no to those other people. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, a player of his standard, if he says he doesn't want to finish his career, that, you know, he's gonna, mm. <laughs> the fans will be happy. So you have to say that. But I know he loves Liverpool, but at the same time, he's in a position now where he can uh, demand so much more when it comes to salary. <laughs> and in Liverpool, they have this little cap. Uh, and if, if they're going to afford him and offer him a new contract, they have to go above that little uh, salary mm -hmm. cap and that's going to cause a little bit of uh, I don't know and uh, maybe some other players going to look at that, the numbers as well so but I'm very confident he's, he's so happy he's played his best football at Liverpool so I, I'm, I'm confident he's going to sign a new contract John I, I said this like a few weeks ago about Salah I said that when you look at the the talk of the money that Kevin De Bruyne's earning now and he sorted his own contract out £380,000 a week I said if I'm playing the football that Salah's playing I'm going to want three hundred and Ninety thousand. I want to be the the, the the best play paid player in the Premier League because I deserve it. What I, mm. what I offer to Liverpool, I watch Liverpool play, and when Salah doesn't play, they're a total different team. So what he means yeah. to Liverpool as a as a club going forward, achieving things, surely you just have to sometimes maybe make an exception for one player because I'm sure he wants to earn 
what he deserves. And as a player, you know that, John. You want to earn what you deserve, don't you? That That's not your problem if Liverpool don't want to pay it. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, the only thing you could do as a player is, is prove on the pitch that you're yeah. good enough and you, you deserve that money. And he's done that. And like you said, when you see other players earning a certain amount of money and you are considered better or uh, yeah. uh, even even as them, then you, you should get paid that money. And that's, as you said, that's Liverpool's problem. If they want to keep him, they know what they have to do. Yeah. And, and Salah is sitting there comf- comfy and just enjoying football, playing his best football. And then he knows that if they pay the money outside, if not, I might look somewhere else. So mm-hmm. obviously, he's in a great position. Yeah, definitely. Uh, John, thanks for coming on. It's really lovely to catch up with you. Yeah. Great Appreciate to talk, you, John. You. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.